Hey guys, Stitching May here to do an update video. It has been a while since my last video. I don't, I know it's been more than two weeks. I want to say three weeks, but it may have even been four. Either way, there's no reason I haven't done a video. It's just kind of been, I don't know, not hectic, but just kind of, meh, I don't know. Um, work's crazy and don't want to even want to get into that because I'm not at work right now. <laughs> Um, anyway, I do have a lot of stuff to show, a lot of stuff to show you. This is, I'm redoing the video because earlier I was kind of like rushing through it and I'm like, I had almost been all the way through like five projects in like three minutes. So I'm going to slow down a little bit and enjoy the video. <laughs> so I do have a finish, a new start, a new start planned, some other projects, and some haul, and some frame pieces. So I have plenty to show you. Feel free to grab a drink. And it's not going to be a really long video, but about my average. Um, so with that said, let's just jump on in. These are in no particular order. And to be honest, I don't even know that I have like before pictures like I normally pop up. Because I'm not, I'm just stitching the way my bug takes me. I'm not... I've not done any of the challenge groups. The challenges and the homework assignments helped me get the before picture because I would take the picture for, you know, the challenge and then to show my stitching progress. And I just haven't been doing that. So I'm not going to even have that this video. So this is not, I, mean, I got a lot of stuff to show you, but it's, you know, it is what it is. Here we are. So these are in no particular order. Let me just, I'll start off with my start, my finish. Start off with my start. I'll start off with my finish. This is um, Prairie Schoolers. I always get the name wrong. It's either Christmas Eve or Merry Christmas. Um, it's one that I started with Connie and another friend a few years ago. We stitched together at lunch and we only worked on this together. And then um, one of the girls finished hers first and then Connie finished hers and then I was just kind of stuck. And I pulled this out for Christmas in July. And then I was so close to the finish that I just kept stitching on it. But then I do what I always do because I already had a love-hate relationship with this project. And then it got close to the finish and like it took me forever to put in like six pesky snowflakes. And like who even leaves the snowflakes for last? That's dumb because snowflakes are not fun to stitch. Anyway, it's now done. My husband can, or Scott can now frame it for me, which I'm sure he will. And here it is. This is stitched in the called for DNCs. The only thing I changed is are these bottom letter words, letters, alphabets, things. They were in a pale blue, a pale beige and I don't remember the third color but I didn't like it those colors because it wasn't within this main thing I felt like it didn't fit so then I ended up changing this to match the colors within the design just because I wanted to plus that matches our Christmas decor a little more we have more of the traditional red green and gold you know who am I kidding we don't have any theme to our Christmas decorations. It's whatever we want, whatever the kid makes. I think I even have like colored noodles on my Christmas tree. We are not the Neiman Marcus or Norman Rockwell Christmas tree. It is completely a family Christmas tree. And I'm so mad at myself over this project because this is back when I was still a middle starter and I didn't do the corner start. And look at all of this beautiful fabric that I wasted. This fabric is from Fabrics by LJ, so it's no longer available, which makes me upset even more. Like, I could have fit this entire piece on just half of this top. Like, an entire, it would have fit there. And I'd have an entire other half. I almost said an entire another half. Yeah, that makes sense. My southern's coming out. But when Scott frames this, as I'm sure he will, I'm going to have him cut down the edges some. Maybe to like there-ish. And then I'll still have enough for some ornaments. I hope. Mad at myself. Old self, pay attention to your fabric wastage. Wastage? Usage? Wasting? <sighs> anyway. 
So there that is. Another finish that I had, I can't show you because it's a gift. And I know you guys probably are rolling your eyes because I've said that a lot. I have witnesses for both of these gifts. Both, both of these gifts that they were actually finished. People have seen them. So they do exist. Um, next I worked some more on my Lindy Stitches Mystery Sal. I finished out the second part. I haven't done the third part yet. I'm still thinking about it. But here she is. love this love this fabric love the zaniness and I will finish this soon and I'm so glad I chose this green fabric because it just is so pretty but there that is see I'm already at the point that I was last time and I was halfway through all my projects so I was just flying. I don't know. Some oh, sometimes when I start these videos, I think I feel nervous and I like I just stop, take a breath, enjoy the video. Um, another project that I worked on that I'm absolutely positively loving is my Pandemic by Long Dog Samplers. I'm stitching this on one over one on 20 count vintage country mocha Ada. One over one, yes. In the colorway Peacock's Plume by Sulky. Guys, I absolutely love this color. I can't give you the number because as you can see, I've already anxiously Pull the labrails off. I can be an anxious picker. My poor son has inherited that from me and the anxiousness already. And I think I have a before a picture. This is where I am now. And that's all that matters, right? Doesn't matter where we came from, it only matters where we are and where we're going. So I'm using this beautiful, so appropriate, Flag Doctor Needle Minder from Stitch and Button. So appropriate for me during this, I'm not a doctor, but still. And this is where I currently am. I cannot speak highly enough about this sulky thread on this fabric. I love the colorway. I love the way it looks on this fabric. Loving this. There's a bird here that I had to frog twice. So this project is not in timeout, but we've had a discussion and we're going to work on our relationship in the future. So there it is. I'm about a quarter of the way through the first page. Almost done, right? to clean this stuff up as I go. Otherwise I'll have a big, huge mess. It's the, uh, the next thing I'm gonna show you, not the next thing I worked on, is my, um, I can only think of, Dutch Beauty. I can only think of the alternate name that it has. And this is by Herman, right? This is a big project that Emily helped me convince me to start. And I'm using her conversion except for this pink. She had a lighter pink and I used the darker pink. And that is where I currently am. All that I had before was like three areas of that border. So I stitched this windmill, this bird, and this tree when I stitched on this during a Zoom meeting with a friend. 
or messenger chat with a friend. And there that is. And then I started a piece called by Pine Berry Lane. It's called Fancy Blacket by the Light of the Moon. This was passed along to me from Ellen. So it's been passed along to I am the one, two, three, four, fifth stitcher. People stitch it and then pass along to another stitcher. It's become kind of a it's just going around the, the stitchy community. The next person is already called for, so I know my next person that I'll send this to. And I started this late last night. I'm stitching this in the called for DNC. I'm sorry, early this morning. Like, it was after midnight, so I guess early this morning. And I am stitching this on a piece of fabric that I just dyed myself. I want to say it's 36 count. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is 36 count. I think so this is some of that leftover platinum I had from Dutch Beauty that I was test dyeing. It is. That's what this is. And I over dyed it with tan. Red dye tan. Look at me. My memory's coming back. And this is where I currently am. Let me take her out of the hoop because this is what I'm working on right now. Oh, come on. Come out of the hoop. Oh, technical difficulties. Which is funny because I did not put this in this. This is the envelope it came in. Somebody else had some 20 count vintage country mocha. And this is where I currently am. Whoa. Come on now. There's more of my coming out. So I've stitched Miss Fancy in her shrooms. What is she doing with these shrooms? Like, is she making a spell? Or, like, is she doing some illegal activity? I don't know. I've got the cat. Can you see him? I'm kind of worried about him fading out. I think it'll be better once his eyeballs are in. There we go. You can see him there. I can see him fine in person. He's a little more yellow than the fabric is. And then I got the scissors and then the date's going to be up here. All that is left is the moon and the owl and the initials FB for fancy blackout. And I'll probably make that into a pillow to display at Halloween time. I'm going to say Christmas time. That, that makes sense, right? Put out a Halloween piece at Christmas. I'm not using a needle monitor for that one. And that is it for progress haul. This is where it gets a little extra. So... I have no clue what those flosses go to. Put that, no, I guess I'll figure out what that goes to. Um, in no particular order. Because there's a lot. Oh, when Ellen sent me the piece, she sent me this cute little guinea pig card. How cute is that? He's a guinea pig in a top hat. Oh, this guinea pig is making waves in the confectionery industry with his healthy take on classic novelty candies. His breakthrough product was a delectable cotton candy made with spun hay. He's currently working out the kinks on the Silly Sod Sucker, a grass-based lollipop that changes colors as it's eaten. From the Berkeley Bestiary. Hmm. I have no clue. But he's cute. His little top hat. It's gonna boop his nose. So, I don't, I'm just gonna go. Because I have no order. So, let's just do this. I found this on clearance at the Hobby Lobby. For an entire $1.99. I have no clue what I'm gonna do with this. Or anything. I blame Linda Joe. 
because she's the one that started me looking at these things as finishings. But this one is decorative already instead of just plain. Or I may just use it as is. It's a little... What is it? A trivet? But it's so pretty. And now you could do a little piece there, but then you'd cover it up. Of course, you could do the back, but then you won't see the front. I have no clue. It was a dollar. It was two dollars, and I went ahead and got it. I was afraid if I didn't get it, this would be end up being one of those things that I was like, man, I really wish I had gotten that after all. It's kind of nice little leather hanger. I have no clue, but it's cute. My idea was for finishing. We'll see. We're breaking my table. Um, then I got some needle minders. Of course, I got the Plague Doctor from Stitch and Button. And then I got this Pilgrim Mercentary. Tercentary. Yeah. Come on, focus, focus. Come on. Focus, focus. I got this for a specific project because I was an able, which I'll show you in just a minute, which I was enabled by Vicky to start. So I got that to go along with it. I also purchased this lovely Mickey and Jack needle minder. And then I also, also got this beautiful Scrub Life needle minder as well. If you want to see her website, she's got a Facebook page. There is her card. She's got a Facebook page and a Etsy shop. Stitch in button. You guys know where she makes floss tubes too. And I got my monthly installment of Color and Cotton. So excited because we had to skip them up because she wasn't able to get them. But now we've got them coming again. Guys, these colors are like so my jam. I switched to the prim colors instead of all colors. It was easy to switch. We have this beautiful Revere. Which, all oh, this gray, thanks again to my viewer that tipped me off on the gray, has this kind of light grayish green and silver color. We have Antique Rose. Chestnut. Oh, that's so pretty, guys. This beautiful blue called Battleship. Oh, look at that. Isn't that amazing? And then Eucalyptus. These colors are all just so happy. So happy colors. And then I got, had, in the Silk Weavers um, Needleworkers Delight Flash Sale, two of them. They were gracious enough to ship them all to me at once. I'll be nice to the fact that part of that's because they hadn't shipped the first order yet so I said can you not just ship it together <laughs> um you will get your stuff just don't order and forget about it because they may too this is 36 count dark sand isn't that pretty it doesn't have a whole bunch of modeling. It's almost a solid piece. Bigger, bigger board here, bigger board. Love that. Thanks to Emily, 36 count has become my thing. However, I can't stitch on it in the car. Because it makes me car sick. Ask me how I know. We went to Helen recently and I got so car sick to try to stitch in a car. This one is called Heritage. Again, it's a 36 count. This one is a very light brown, very neutral, very pretty. Absolutely love it.
And then this one is my favorite. It's a 40 count. I'm getting brave. I have two pieces of 40 count in my stash. And this is in the colorway Tuscan Clay. Come on now. And this one has a little more modeling to it. Let's see, I was, I was bad. I was bad. So, <clears throat> watching. I only get Dina half stitch cross stitches. Most recent video. I saw it in a group. Was completely enabled by her. For this Christmas garden by Blackbird Designs. So I got on eBay, found the book for a price that I was not angry about. Actually was very happy about. You can still get this on one two three stitch guys. The name of the book is it's been I think the person stitched this one because it's folded there. It's used and it's folded to that page. So I think she probably stitched this piece because that's where her crease is. I'm betting she stitched this piece or he, whoever. The name on the tag was a girl when I bought it. It's home for the holidays. It comes with, do you want me to flip through real quick? I will. Fast forward if you don't want to see it. It's beautiful. Called home for the holidays. Then there's Christmas Garden. I'm trying to make sure I don't show patterns. Blessings be thine. Point set of stocking. My heart is home stocking. Which, I think I may stitch that without us talking. Just the house and the little tree. That's so pretty. Gift basket. Holly and Ivy. Decorating the tree. Again, that would be a perfect one to stitch as a small ornament. It says finish. It says finishing the stockings. I thought that was a design. I thought, well, that's a weird name. And then I was, that's not a design. That's how you finish the stocking. The meadow. Just the same one. Yep, that's the same one. And then, tis the season. And then that's it. Completely worth what I paid for it. Love it. Can't wait to start it. Don't know when I'll start it, but had to have that. Gosh, just the perfect. Like it touches on the Quaker. It touches on the sampler. It's Christmas. It was perfect. Had to have it. So, that is it for a haul, right? Yes. However, <laughs> Emily and I had dinner because I am now starting another one of my beetles. Pieces. In my last video, I said that Yellow Submarine I liked, but that was probably the last one that I did because of all the yellow and then it probably being on dark fabric. And then my husband said, hey, I think you should do the Yellow Submarine next. Because that's what I want you to do next. So I decided to get that up. But I wasn't, when I have so many color and cottons that I wasn't going to buy all the specialty flosses for it. So I decided to take my own things and Emily and I were having dinner. So I brought my flosses to the restaurant and we went through and at the table while the hubbies and son talked video games, completely nerded out and sorted cross stitch floss. And she helped me kit up what I should use. So these are our, our own colors. I kind of had, I had kind of a colorway that I wanted. 
but then I helped used her <laughs> used her she helped me kind of finalize the colors right and if that wasn't enough she had an entire stack of patterns that had been passed on to her from one of her viewers and I don't know for certain if the person is okay with her name being said or not. I forgot to check with Emily. So this person had passed a, a some charts to Emily and then it told her that it was fine for her to share. So Emily brought some to me for me to look through and guys I was a hog. A big fat hog. I got a lot of them. I labeled them to where I can pass them back to Emily when I'm done. That way, if she wants to then pass them back to somebody else, she can. Because they are still technically her charts. So there's my Big Toe Designs piece. Guys. So pretty. Tempting Tangles Posey 2. Panoply, Panoply of Posies. Some Tink Tangles as well. Sampler Cove Dutch. Double Dutch. I think. I think. I may have this one already in a magazine. I'm not 100% sure. It looks familiar to me, or either I saw it and fell in love with it and couldn't find it. One of the two. I don't know if it's one that I fell in love with and couldn't get, or if it's one that I already have in a magazine. Put it away. Look at those colors. Examples from the heart, where the calling birds sing. I think Emily also has this one. I think. I don't know for sure. Some of these she already has and we're going to sell together because we tell each other what to do. We're each other's bosses. Look at that wonderful willow tree in the middle. For the birds by Bygone Stitches because I love birds. I didn't realize how much I love birds. Like I'm not a bird watcher. Well I am but I'm not. Like I'm not an official bird watcher. But I love watching the birds that I feed in my yard. The other day, the squirrel was on the bird feeder, and my birds were in my squirrel feeder. I was like, do I need to switch your food? Like, what's up with this? Scarlet House. Seven Sheep Sampler. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. Yellow Rose Production Sampler. Okay, I told you guys I was a gritty, gritty goose. Eileen J. Bennett. I guess that's the name of it. Oh no. It is called the Yellow Rose Sampler. And Eileen J. Bennett is... <laughs> is he designed it? From the Sampler House. Guys, I can't even. Elizabeth Weston. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I'm falling in love with all, all of the samplers. It is a little pink for me, so I may change some of those colors. Why is that not? There we go. That is a little pink for me. I may change some of the colors. I don't need it. This one I've wanted for a long time since I saw McKenna do it. It may go. So I went from rushing through the video to my camera turning off on me because I talked so long. So apparently this video is longer than I thought it was going to be. So anyway, as I was saying, I've wanted this one since I saw McKenna do it. And I think I may do this on my 40 counts. And I may even use another sulky for it. 
Matter's Choice. Guys, so pretty. And then last but not least, see, it cut me off right here. I only had two more things to show. Rude camera. Ink circles. Oh, I do have more to show you. The frames. Quaker floral puzzle. And this is the one that Emily does have, and we are eventually going to do a sal. Look at that. Ugh. Look at all those colors. I'll probably do it in the DMC. Actually, that's what it's called for, is DMC. She has two different things for light fabric or for dark fabric. So we should have a picture of the light fabric. Oh, right there. Duh. Here it is on the light fabric. Come on, focus. I like it on the dark fabric. But I probably do like a dark brown. I don't know. We'll see. You know, like some oaken. Ooh, oaken. No, but really pretty on oaken. Anyway, see, I gotta stop. Oh man, it was hurting so many things. <sighs> Floss, it's a bookmark. So, my husband has been framing while I've been stitching. Sorry, my son's getting something to drink. And I have more things to show you guys. I have one, two, three, four, five more to show you. I showed you eight last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I may be showing one twice. I don't know for sure. If I'm showing, if I'm overlapping one, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, these are all new. Because last time it was eight. And then he framed a gift one, so that would be nine. And then now I've got five more to show you. So, I've got to cover part of this one up. This was this Diotch along in I don't know when. It's the one where they did home is where the whatever is. And Sammy J changed this because the whole time I thought this was going to say Wi-Fi. Because I thought these look like Wi-Fi symbols. So she and I agreed that we loved the Wi-Fi thing. So she added in the word Wi-Fi and did this little Wi-Fi symbol. And what we do is we have it in our living room and we have written with a dry erase marker our Wi-Fi password. Now I'm not going to show you. I don't think you can do anything with that, but still not going to show it to you. But so for our guests, when they come over, we have our Wi-Fi password written on here in dry erase marker. And when we change it, we of course will change the Wi-Fi password. So this sits up on a little stand in our living room. That way you can have. It says Wi-Fi is where the home is where the Wi-Fi connects automatically. So there's that one. The next one, oh my gosh, guys, is this. This is a prairie, not prairie moon, not prairie schooler. It's not out of print. You can still get it. I'll remember the name as soon as I'm off camera and like have to throw in. But it's a stocking. This project was my first time beading. This fabric is a really loose linen and we couldn't get it to stretch right, which is fine with me. It's okay. I love this frame. It is a plastic frame though. I'm not supposed to buy plastic frames. <laughs> they pose issues. Like, it's even got the, the paper on the back and everything. I need to figure out who this is by to where I can put it. Because what I've been doing is labeling who, when I stitched and that kind of stuff, if I remember when. This is one that I didn't want to frame yet. Because I thought I wanted, there's a companion piece. And I thought that I wanted to, you know, frame them the same and that kind of thing. He convinced me that this needed, because I don't even have the companion piece started or kitted up. And that this needed to be shown and that if I wanted to, he could always reframe it. 
So he convinced me to let him frame it. And I'm glad that he did. It's Emerald Dragonfly by Mirabilia. Look how good he did. It's so straight. Even the dragonfly is straight. That's a hard one to, to unframe. I'm so proud of him. He even did the fancy dancy little hanger there. So. They even left space for the beads. Made sure they were all straight. And then this one is one that I finished last year. It's by Connie G Designs. I don't know if it's available anymore. I don't know how that's. I don't know what she's doing with her patterns right now. But this is Flowery Flourish that I stitched by her. All in one DNC variegated. It's flaring. Let's see. Well, that made it just blow. Can you see it? <laughs> Actually, that kind of works. Not saying anything. There we go. How well can you see it? Can you see it now? <laughs> and it's just in a black wooden frame that I don't know where I got in that black wooden frame. I got it at Hobby Lobby. And then he also framed this frame we purchased specifically for this piece. My Silent Night by Country Cottage New Works. So he got this all framed. Realized that there was a piece of thread or something here. And then I had forgotten four stitches at the top. So he had to unframe it and reframe it. But this is in a very, very heavy wooded frame. Which, let me tell you, this glass did not come with this frame. Ow. This frame was separate. We had the glass. They also had the glass you can buy. But we bought the frame. When we first picked up this exact frame, I looked at it. I was like, something's not right about that. And it wasn't square. Like, it was, like... Oh, there's a name of, and I should know because I had to teach my son this on the last, at the end of school last year on virtual. The one where the sides are slanted and then they're longer. It's like a rectangle, not a rectangle. Oh my God, the words fail me. Anyway, so the, it was kind of, in the words of my grandmother, cattywampus. <laughs> and, um... I'm glad I noticed it because he would have brought it home and hated trying to frame it because it would have never been straight. So if you go into the stores that sell just the frame, make sure they're square or rectangle or straight because they weren't. They weren't at all. That that one wasn't. And I even like gave it back to the person. I don't know. I think he probably just put it back on the shelf. But whatever. I tried. But so that's five more frame pieces. Now he has another one to frame. I'm going to make fancy black it into a pillow. It's kind of weird to try to frame, I think. I don't know. I keep saying that I'm going to make stuff into pillows and finish stuff different ways. And then he gets a hold of it and we end up framing it. So, um, I'm going to, um, tonight I'm going to finish up fancy black it and hopefully start my yellow submarine after I edit this video and put it up, which shouldn't be a whole lot of editing. And then work this weekend and then school starts next week. Like it or not. Um. And. That's really all we have planned. We're kind of still just. Staying home. We did take a day trip recently to Helen, Georgia. It's about. Three and a half hours away. We went tubing again. I didn't almost drown this time. The water was. <laughs> I told my husband. I said we're not tubing. We're dragging. Because <laughs> we kept dragging the bottom. A lot of fun though. Had a blast. We'll definitely do that again. And. That's really it. Nothing, no other huge starts planned. Um, I'm, I am doing the semi-sane music challenge. I don't know the name of the mat challenge. And it's where you name a song and you stitch. So if it's a 3 minute and 13 second song, you stitch 313 stitches. 
I decided to use my Beatles piece and oddly enough I'm going to do all Beatles music. So the first one I'm going to do is Yellow Submarine. I think that was 330 stitches. And then I'm just going to go through the Beatles songs for the month and use that. So that's going to be kind of a focus piece this month. Who knows? I may get it finished. Yeah, right. Um, still keeping up with my finishes and stuff. Don't. I was going to do a middle of the year review and then decided not to. I'll just do an end of the, end of the year wrap up. Anyway, guys. As always, please take care of yourself. Please stay safe and keep those stitches going. Happy stitching. That was all kind of awkward. <laughs> take care. Happy stitching. <laughs>